Okay, to show the complete flow between KeePassFX and the browser, we are going to start with KeePassFX. We don't have a file open. We are going to create a new file. See, it's called test, there's nothing in it. We go to the browser and we say that we want to connect it. Here it will now, because we said connect to KeyPassFX, it asks to identify the browser. So we're going to call it test. You'll see that we now have one entry. And in that entry, in the properties, the uh, key that the browser has sent us is stored, protected. Then we go into this field. We enter something. Doesn't really matter what we enter. We press submit. Okay, and you will see that this here starts blinking. If we click it, it says something has changed. Do you want to save it? We say yes. If you now go back to KeePass FX, you will see that we have gotten a new group called KeePass HTTP Passwords. And here is all the information that we captured from the browser. So the, in this case, the title is just the name of the, the, the website the username the password you can see the password that we entered and you can see when we captured it now we can just say that we want to save this and, and we are done